I'm Staff Sergeant Josh Hauser. In the news, a new unit joins the ranks at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida, which promises to pave the way for the future of not only the Air Force, but the Marine Corps and Navy as well. Tech Sergeant Steve German takes us to the activation ceremony. Eglin Air Force Base in Florida is now the new home of Marine Fighter Attack Training Squadron 501. In a ceremony at Eglin, the squadron officially stood up as part of the Joint Integrated Training Center located here. That paves the way for the Marine Corps to begin training pilots and maintainers on the Marine variant of the F-35B Lightning II, which is slated to replace the service's F-A-18, AV-8Bs, and EA-6B aircraft. The Air Force's 33rd Fighter Wing will train Air Force, Marine, and Navy personnel, as well as international partners, on the F-35 Lightning II. Tech Sergeant Steve German, Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. More than 300 California National Guardsmen will soon be headed to Iraq. Friends and family celebrated and prepared to say goodbye during a ceremony in Garden Grove, California on Friday. The soldiers are part of the 224th Sustainment Brigade of the Army National Guard. The unit will be in Iraq for a year-long deployment, helping with logistics and security. Two military members are among the seven-person crew on board Space Shuttle Discovery, which blasted into space shortly before sunrise this morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. The mission commander is Navy Captain Alan Poindexter, and the pilot is Air Force Colonel James Dutton. The shuttle is delivering thousands of pounds of supplies to the International Space Station, meant to keep the station running long after the shuttle program ends later this year. Members of the crew will also conduct three six-and-a-half-hour spacewalks to replace and repair equipment at the station. And President Obama threw out the first pitch today at the Washington Nationals home opener, where the Nats are playing host to the Philadelphia Phillies. Wearing a Nationals jacket and a White Sox cap, President Obama, a lefty, made it over the plate, but the pitch was high and away outside. Before taking the mound, the president shook hands with wounded service members, and they were honored today at the park. Members of the military also got to throw out ceremonial first pitches, one tossed out by a representative of each of the five branches of the military. For more military news and signature programming, head online to pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Staff Sergeant Josh Hauser with your Pentagon Channel News Update.